Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, episode number 177. So today is going to start off a little bit different to normal episodes because, well, I'm about to go ahead and go in and buy some silver German players. How often do I do that? It's not very often. It's probably never. So obviously we're going to be taking on one of the weekly objectives today. Or actually, we're going to be trying to kill two birds with one stone uh, by doing a couple of objectives in one. So if you haven't done these yet, Basically, this is what you do. If you're trying to unlock yourselves uh, Emre Chan, which is what we're doing in today's episode, or Ben Arthur, which is another player from the weekly objectives, or, or Timothy Weyer, we did that in yesterday's video, if you want to check that out. Um, or the other one, of course, is Taliska. You need to follow the rules from the weekly objectives and... To unlock Emre Chan, you need to win nine games of online single matches using 11 silver German players, right? So what that means is that you need to start with 11 silver German players. What you can do to kill two birds with one stone, like I said, is bring on a couple of French players. You could bring on all three of your subs, could be French players if you wanted them to be, because what that will do is basically mean that, because for the Ben Arthur challenge, what you need to do is score in eight wins with a French player. So you don't need to start with a full French team or anything. Uh, and as long as you start with 11 Germans for the Emre Chan one, and you can sub on three Frenchmen if you want, one, two, or three, um, and you score with them, and then you get the win, you get the objective done because you started with 11 players and one with German players. And you also get one of the objectives because uh, you scored with a Frenchman in a win in online single matches. So, yeah, and they were silver Frenchmen. So, basically, that is, that's the long and the short of it. I don't know how well I've explained that, but um, I'm sure you guys are pretty savvy to what's going on this week. Uh, so, I basically got my weekend league done as soon as possible so that I could focus on doing this. And I had two different tweets go up on Saturday night. Because I finished Weekend League Saturday night, and I hated it. And I mentioned in yesterday's video where we finished off, it was my least enjoyable Weekend League. I genuinely didn't have fun at all playing it. It felt like an absolute chore. Now, uh, for some reason, I also decided to play a little bit of online singles that night, despite being in an awful mood from the Weekend League and stuff. And the stark difference in my experience was just crazy. This, this right here... Is some of the most fun I've had on FIFA 19. Genuinely. Like, at the start of Carnival, I was such... I was so negative towards the fact that we had to use silver players to do these unlocks. I don't want to use silver players. But, to be fair, I've had an absolute blast playing this tournament or playing these online single matches uh, with these silver players and I'll tell you the reason why it's because when you use silver players it's very difficult to get mad at them when they take a dodgy first touch or when their shot just goes really wide at the post and stuff because they're silver players you don't expect much from them to be fair to uh to my older self that would have got annoyed with this sort of thing they are they do feel like awful awful players a lot of the time um these i mean silver players are still professional footballers i don't understand why they miss quite so much but i guess they have to be that this level on the game considering golds are how they are and stuff so uh yeah it is what it is but i feel like silvers and stuff used to be better i would love to see a slight buff on these for the, for the future, for like the, maybe the next FIFA and stuff. Um, give some more silvers, some more skills. Give some better stats to silvers and stuff. Make them actually a part of the game again like they used to be. And have objectives like this. And I genuinely think you'll start to bring back a casual side of FIFA. Uh, and then, of course, there'll be the weekend league and the competitive side, which uh, is for everyone else. You know, those that really want the good rewards and stuff. So... If that was to happen, I, I I really do think, just after playing a bunch of these games, that this could actually somewhat be a bit of a saviour for fuck going forwards. Like, uh, we used to love using silvers and low-rated teams and stuff. Maybe you could do it so that you put a rating on the team, like a rating cap, rather than just saying silver players. Like I've mentioned in a previous video, it could be like an 80-rated squad or a 78-rated squad. So you can use some golds in there. Um, but the majority of it's going to need to be silver players if you're using one or two good golds, you know. Uh, and that could bring back like hybrids again. And uh, I, I think I feel like we could come full circle, and and that sort of thing would be uh, nice and relevant, and and people would enjoy doing 
it and stuff. So uh, that's something that I look forward to in the future. But yeah, I just can't believe how wrong I was from 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 genuinely not being asked about playing these because it's with silver players and I don't want to. Um, to having some of the most fun I've had on FIFA 19 just playing these games because they're super casual. Like typically the way it goes is that if you score first, um, sometimes people will just quit. Like right there, I go one nil up and I get a quit. You know, he, he lasted a little bit longer, but he didn't want to stay in. Uh, and if you get to two nil up, that's pretty much the benchmark. And that's also when I'll quit. So uh, I'm, I'm not quite playing first goal wins. I like the idea of that because it wastes less people's time. But if it gets to 2-0 uh, and I'm losing, then I'll quit because my opponent's better than me. And I'll happily just move on to the next one without getting stressed. And typically if I go 2-0 up, my opponent will quit. Unless they're super adamant that they think they can get back in it and stuff. Um, but I mean, as you can see here, this is another game in a row where I go 2-0 up. My opponent rage quits. Uh, I basically bring on my two Frenchmen at the very start of each game and then hope that I can score with them because you don't need to score with the Germans you just need to win with the Germans so as long as you score with a Frenchman in your games then you're good and, and you're in, and you're doing it you're getting both Ben Arthur and Emre Chan or Taliska and Emre Chan all at the same time um, the, the slight issue is and the slight delay in that getting the Frenchman is Perhaps if maybe you score before the subs come on. So you score with a, a German player or whatever. And then the guy quits. And then, well, yeah, you got one of your German wins. But you didn't score with a Frenchman. So you don't get that. Uh, and that's just the way it is. Now, this game right here was some of the most fun I've had on FIFA 19. It was 1-1 at 90 minutes. And it was such an even match. We were both really going for it. And then it goes to extra time. I get through with Jean, my Frenchman, and score the goal to go 2-1 up. And I was just so happy. Uh, because I finally got my goal. I feel like I was going to win this. And then Jean gets through again. Uh, and I push on past the defenders. Go to take that strike. Hit it low driven. And it goes in. And I'm 3-1 up. Extra time. Feel an absolute joy as an emotion right now however the second half of the extra time starts and uh he he had brought on some frenchmen as well he had a brazil team but he brought on a couple of french players uh, and he gets a, a goal back and then it's not over you know he pushed forward for the rest of this game uh played it through to biabiani who takes the strike and it goes in in the 112th minute so this game goes all the way to penalties um but as much as a bit of a time waste that is, I've nearly got like four or five games done in the space of time that this game took. It was just a laugh, you know. We messaged each other afterwards, both sort of like, yeah, Silvers are terrible, aren't they? But GG, you know, we had good fun. It wasn't it wasn't a super stressful game. It goes down to penalties. I mean, um, I guess maybe the fun element comes out of what result you get. So if you do come away with a win, then yeah, you're obviously feeling great on top of the world. And then if you come away with a loss, especially after going all the way to penalties, maybe it's a little bit more stressful and stuff. But um, the, 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 the comparison I gave on Twitter was that you can't get mad at these guys because they're silvers. They are going to miss, um, but you're playing against silvers. So some of the shots you take will just fly in anyway. But when you're 90 plus rated special item... Uh, when you're, yeah, we win this match, by the way, on penalties. But when you're 90 plus rated player misses a sitter in the weekend league, when you're in a competitive zone, uh, it matters because every game matters in the weekend league, uh, and they're super high rated and stuff. You get really wound up and super stressed out. So that's the difference, and that's that casual feel that I'm hoping that we can get back in certain elements of fun. Like I feel like there's definitely. A need for the competitive part of FIFA because like if you are getting these crazy rewards and that then it, it can't just be given to you for free in a super casual way um they need to make money and stuff obviously so they want people to to spend and and, and to get better teams and stuff and uh yeah it is what it is but like I, I do also feel like this is a huge area of fuck which needs to be ramped up for the future for for the people that don't want to like waste their weekend stressing it out in a competitive mode and stuff and they just want to play some online fifa they want to play against people not just the computer but they want to do it in a way which is fun and like challenging and engaging and i really feel like this is this was um an amazing start carnival has basically ticked every box so far as a promo itself you've got a team that's come out that you can buy on the market or get in packs if you're a spender you've got Lots of SBC cards literally every day uh, if you are looking to maybe get SBC players, if you like that side of the game. Uh, you are 
getting normal daily challenge like puzzle SBCs. So they're, they're smaller, they cost less, but they give you a pack. So you can then pack one of those players that's out on the market. Um, you've got icon SBCs, flashback SBCs. And then, of course, you've got weekly objectives to unlock four players for free. I literally don't see how a, a promo could have gone much better than this one. Um, I can't believe I nearly missed that shot as well, by the way. I got gifted a goal and I hit the post. Uh, that's the, the one thing that Silvers will do. They just, the shooting is so inaccurate. But if you get the hang of it eventually and realise that low driven's at the near post, just the goalkeepers don't save him, then you're all good. So, uh, so yeah, uh, I, I feel like we need to give this Gene guy um, like Hall of Fame status because he's so good. As a silver, he was actually crazy. He didn't feel like a silver. Um, so big up Gene for being an absolute god uh, in game for me. I really enjoyed him. So we're three 0 up at this one. I think the guy decides to quit. Uh, yeah, and that was that was actually the last game I needed for Emery Chan. So just from playing, I played for like one and a half hours maybe, uh, and I got nine online single matches wins. And this was at like midnight on Saturday night. So uh, it, it, we've we've unlocked this player for free, and I think he looks like the best one. Emery Chan, I feel like I could actually use him. I'm going to try and get him into the team. I have Ronaldo, I have Cancelo. There's potential there for me to actually get someone that fits our squad. Because I think he looks like a great CDM. Um, so I want to actively try and use him in our main squad going forwards, if I can make it happen. Uh, but we didn't quite unlock him. Em um, not Emery Chan, we got him right there. We didn't quite unlock Ben Arthur in this episode. We got within one game of it, I think. Uh, so that's unfortunate, but hey, we'll do that at the very start of the next episode, and we'll sell our Germans on now. Uh, some of these I paid a fair a fair whack for, but I sold them for a fair whack as well. So if you haven't done them yet, my advice to you is to get it done as soon as possible, because the later in the week we get, the more people are going to complete their challenges and want to offload their silver players, and then you'll be uh, losing more money on, on the transfer market players that you've got. So, yeah, I would recommend buying them, you know, maybe not buying some of the really expensive ones, like 7.5k for a striker. Uh, focus on getting a couple of French players in your squad as well to try and uh, do two objectives at one time. But yeah, it's been a, a really fun episode. Uh, I genuinely had the most fun I've had on FIFA on Saturday night. Considering I could have just gone to bed really stressed out after playing the weekend league. Uh, and instead I went on and played this. I actually turned my Xbox off with a bit of a smile that night. I, I really enjoyed playing FIFA, which is... Uh, Odd, you know, considering a lot of the time it's super competitive, super stressful. We don't necessarily enjoy ourselves a lot anymore. So, uh, yeah, would highly recommend these. Got to say a big shout out and, a, uh, and props to EA for this promo. I think it's it's great and it's it's amazing for all aspects of the community and stuff. Um, tomorrow we'll be finishing off Ben Arthur, but we'll be selling our Germans and buying some Brazilians. And you can see the Germans were already up on the market at the end of the video. Uh, we need to buy some Brazilians to. Uh, to bring Taliska home uh, and get all four of these weekly objective players into our club. Guys, I haven't asked you to yet, but do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button. This has been like one of the best German teams that you can use to unlock Emre Chan and also the way that you can, of course, two, kill two birds with one stone and do two objectives at once. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe down below, click that button, turn the notification bell on, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all of those links are down there. I hope you have a lovely day, everyone, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.